is just beautiful. Her name's Scarlet. Gang gangs are on the rare list because we keep cutting down all of their trees and that's where they like to lay their eggs. And it takes about a hundred years for a tree to hollow out. So every time we cut down a tree and plant another one, it's gonna take a hundred years for it to become a home for one of these guys again. Welcome to Run Riot, the show where you can win big prizes just for getting off that couch and getting active. Once again, it's competition time for these two teams who are going to be battling it out in this rock challenge where they need to climb all the way to the top of this rock and down again within 30 seconds. But that's not all we have in store for them. Follow me and I'll show you what else they have to do. And you're not gonna believe what they have to do now. Look at this beautiful Gold Coast beach. Well, it's not so beautiful for these two contestants who have to run all the way down to those rocks over there and back within two minutes. And the winner is off to Wet and Wild, where they'll sure need to cool down. Okay, are you ready to meet our two teams? Did you know that snakes don't have ears? They feel through vibrations under their chin. A lot of people think that pythons are poisonous, but they've actually got no fangs and no venom, but lots and lots of teeth. Every day of the year, the RSPCA cares for our country's abused, abandoned and strayed animals. As a non-for-profit organisation, the RSPCA needs your help. For as little as $1 a day, you can help the RSPCA's educational team to visit schools and community groups and help teach the importance of treating all animals with respect. Your small change can make a huge change in the lives of animals like Snoopy here. Be the voice of these animals and donate today. If not you, then who? If not right now, then when? Please donate today. The crowds have been gathering down here in their thousands as this year's Blues Fest is underway. Tents have been popping up everywhere as for the next five days, this place is going to be rocking with the sounds of Ben Harper, Santana, Counting Crows and my all time favourite Xavier Rudd. Behind me the crowd is going nuts, just listen to them. We just heard the sounds of Jimmy Cliff and right now on stage the Australian jazz band Cat Emper are going off. Alright, I'll be back after this. The ancient Hawaiians started it, but then the modern Hawaiians revived it. But now, it's the Aussie surfers who have caught the bug of Stand Up Paddle, or SUP for short. So here I am down on the beautiful Gold Coast at Corumban Beach, where I'm going to give it a go. So I've just had a lesson from one of the instructors down here and I've worked out that it's a little bit more difficult than I first thought. But I've been assured that if I do fall in, which is very likely, that it's very safe. And I've also been told that if I go out to where the Pacific Ocean and the river meet, I might even get to see some of the local dolphins. So wish me luck. Now Dione, what do you have here? Uh, this is Smiley, he's one of our saltwater crocodiles. He's um, about hmm. two years old and he can live till he's about 80 to 100 years old. So I've been told that they can eat people. Is that true? Well, they don't go looking for people, but unfortunately they're very territorial in, their, in where they live in the water. And if, we, if people go into their territory, they will eat them. So uh, not a good idea to swim with saltwater crocodiles. So what do you feed them here at home? I, I don't think you'd be feeding them children. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I mainly feed them rats and mice um, and the occasional kangaroo meat as well. So I'm act actually about to feed him if you wanted to watch me feed him. Yeah, sure, let's go. Okay. So Dione, how often do you feed them? Um, this time of year I probably feed him about every three days, but we'll see if he's hungry anyway. Pretty ferocious on the and covered in water. You do get a big one. Choosing your battle, choosing your battle. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off and back in the saddle. You're on the front fire, everyone's watching. You know it's serious, we're getting closer, this isn't over.